Hey you guys, how's it going? It's Paley Draw here, and welcome to another episode of Prehistoric Animal of the Month. September's Prehistoric Animal is Jack of Peel. Nobody really suggested this month's Prehistoric Animal, I just chose it because it's a new dino, and it's really, really, really cute. Um, yeah, so Jack of Peel wasn't officially described until 2022, as some of you may know. It was actually discovered in 2012, and excavated for several years up until 2020. It's an armored dinosaur from Argentina, classified by most to be a Thyreiform, a group that includes the spiny and spiky Stegosaurus, and the meat tank that is Ankylosaurus. The province of Rio Negro is where Jacapil was found, an area known for its glacial lakes and plateaus. It's also the only animal of its kind to have been found anywhere other than Europe. When its study first started, scientists couldn't even determine what kind of animal it was, going so far as suggesting it was a prehistoric crocodile at one point. Sebastian Opestigia, one of the researchers and authors on the Jacopil research paper, noted in an interview that the discovery wasn't only important because of it being a Thyria foreign, but also because of it starting with the letter J. Beforehand, there weren't even enough Argentine dinosaurs to have one for every letter of the alphabet, as the only missing letter was J. But now, the list is full, thanks to the new discovery. Jacopil's full scientific name is Jacopil Canacura, derived from the Puelche language, which is from the indigenous people of Argentina and Chile. It roughly translates to shield bearer, and for a good reason. One of its most notable features is the scattered and prominent osiderms that are thought to have covered the animal from head to tail. Another feature that makes this little thing special is its lower jaw, which has a gigachad style jawline, complete with a ridge on the bottom edge. Scientists aren't completely sure what they were used for, but it definitely makes it distinctive from other animals. Chacapil is estimated to be around the size of a dog, at around 1.5 meters long and 5 to 7 kilograms. Chacapil lived in the same area as the infamous Giganotosaurus, but given that it was much smaller and swifter, it probably wasn't a main food source. Instead, Pteroraptor most likely would have hunted Chacapil. Given that Chacapil was only publicly announced around a month or two ago, it really hasn't been in much media. These models and animations have been featured in a variety of articles on Jacopil, though. Created by the collaboration of Paleo GDY, Sebastian Apestagia, Basundo Regretti, and Mauricio Averez. So here is my finished sketch of Jacopil. If you'd like to see your favorite prehistoric animal featured in one of these videos, all you gotta do is subscribe and tell me in the comments. Also, check out the Discord server in the description. Got some pretty cool stuff going on over there. And as always, keep your pencil sharp.